Now, to talk about Nigeria's Independence Day, we are joined by Emeritus Professor of Political Science, Professor Bomi Ayoade, who is joining us live from Ibado. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us on Galaxy TV News. Good evening. Thank you. All right, first, Happy Independence Day. And as Nigeria marks 64 years anniversary of self-rule today, how do you perceive this day? Well, it's... Uh, I still have to be happy about uh, being independent. Uh, but we, we have to look at whether we are really governing ourselves independently. Uh, things have not uh, been too good, uh, particularly in terms of the economy, in terms of unemployment, in terms of uh, inflation. But uh, independence is still good. Uh, it's preferable to any other thing. And I hope that uh, we will get hold of uh, uh, better governance uh, soon. Okay, all right. And with all these challenges, some of which you have listed that Nigeria is facing, which area do you think we need to work on the most? Uh, the most important thing that uh, touches everybody is first the economy. Uh, the economy is in shambles for now. And uh, it appears that, uh, to be honest, it did not start just today. It has been there and uh, we did not talk about it for quite a while. And now that it has reached uh, uh, perhaps what one can call the intolerable area, uh, we have to look at it and see what we can do. And uh, I think that uh, the government has to look more seriously at how to reverse this terrible trend that we have. Okay, all right. So today being the Independence Day, we had youth that were protesting, majorly in Lagos and Abuja, demanding an end to bad governance. Do you think this is the step in the right direction to holding our leaders accountable? Well, definitely uh, the leaders have to carry all the blame. Uh, this is the nature of governance. Even at the local level, when everything goes back, it's the leaders that take responsibility. And they take responsibility particularly because they campaigned that they are capable of handling the situation. Uh, it, it will be too late for any government in power to claim that they did not know that things are this bad. It is their responsibility to have studied the situation and to be sure that they have what it takes to put it right. But having said that, it is also important for citizens to be aware of the fact that the problem, which did not start in a day, it's a process. And therefore, healing the problem, solving the problem, is also a process. And that means that it has a time. It has, it has a period uh, within which it has to, it has to be corrected. Uh, but uh, it's not, pains cannot be endured for too long. And therefore, government must look at what is to be done quickly and in a time that is bearable for the people. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Sir. But this last question, quickly, before I let you go. 64 years after independence, and we are still not getting a lot of things right. When compared to the colonial rule, which would you say is better off? Is Nigeria really deserving that independence if we've not been getting things right so far? Well, colonial rule is, uh, I think we would deceive ourselves to say that colonial rule has ended. It has not ended because uh, colonial rule operates within a global context and the global context is still not favorable
to the independence of Nigeria. For example, we find that uh, there is a lot of interdependency of nations and uh, we are not in a position to negotiate properly. We don't have the proper negotiating position for most of the things that happen at the global level. And so we are still, we are free, but in bondage. In bondage to the superpowers, in bondage to the, uh, to the world that, to the part of the world that controls the economy. We are in bondage in terms of uh, uh, being able to do things for ourselves. Uh, we, we are dependent in terms of uh, uh, imports that, uh, uh, even for our exports, we are also dependent. Although those are our products, but most of the time we find that uh, we do not have the power to determine uh, the, uh, the, the price of those things. So it is important that we must continue to keep in mind that Nigeria is uh, a colonized, independent country, and that uh, we have to take about uh, take uh, cognizance of that in dealing with some of the issues. Okay, all right. We thank you so much for sharing with us from the wealth of your experiences. Thank you so much for being part of Galaxy TV News. Thank you. You are welcome. And that's Emeritus Professor of Political Science, Professor Bumi Ayoade.